We're in Windows Server 2016 on VirtualBox. That's running on a Windows 10 host. And I'm going to install the DNS server role. And I'm going to do it on a member server. So even though this is called DCO2, I haven't actually promoted it yet to be a domain controller. So it's just a member server at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Add Roles and Features. And we'll click Next. And I want to make sure that our computer name is correct and our IP address is correct. Otherwise, you've got to fix that before you go on, or your DNS information might get messed up. Let's go ahead and choose DNS Server. Click Add Features to go with it. Click Next, 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 and Install. A DNS server on a non-domain controller can be used to resolve names to IP addresses, whether internally uh, to your, in, your, uh, your internal subnet on your uh, organization, or it could be used for external resolution as well. You can use it as a secondary DNS server, a primary server, or a stub zone. The only difference between this and an Active Directory DNS server is it doesn't automatically replicate Active Directory information between this server and other DNS servers. So any replication that you set up, you will have to set up manually. And the installation is complete. We'll go ahead and close and now choose Tools and we'll choose DNS. Expand that and we can see that we just have the name of the server. There's nothing here that's integrated with Active Directory. So let's go ahead and create a zone. If we right click and choose New Zone, click Next, and we've got a few options. One thing we don't have is the option to store it in Active Directory. It's grayed out. Call this a primary zone. We'll give it the name widgetllc.com and go ahead and click Next. We'll just leave the default file name. Click Next and Finish. So here's our widgetlc.com. Now let's say we wanted to create a host record for that. Let's go ahead and choose new host record. And we'll just call it test. So test.widgetlc.com. And we'll point it back to itself. So this is the IP address of the server that we're on right now. So let's just confirm that that works for us. Let's go to run and we'll do a command prompt. And we'll type ping test.widget llc.com and when we ping it we now see it's resolving to the internal IP address of itself so we know the DNS server was set up correctly so that's how we set up a, a DNS server on a non-domain controller in Windows Server 2016 and we did that on a virtual box